guys welcome back again to my channel ayan so naguhugas na tayo ano nandito na tayo ay tuloy pala tayo sa ayan patuloy tayo sa paghuhugas ng plato kasi naudlot yung paghugas natin kanina ano ba ano sa mga plato sa paghugas Guys, so tapos na tayong naglinis ng ano. Oh, hugas. Ayan, hugas na. So ngayon, titingnan na natin ito kung kumusta na ito. Luto natin. Ayan. Wow. Sarap ito ah. Gusto na yung mga ito. So, pwede na natin ilagay yung Ibarat natin na itlaw. Ayan. Ayan guys. Ayan na yun lang. Hindi na siguro. Ayan. Pero yun natin ito kung ano na ito. Ako na lang. Ayan. Pakuluin natin ng konti. Ayan. So, yun guys, no? Ngayon, um, baka tayo magpatuloy. Mag May isishare na naman ako sa inyo. Ayan, dire-diretso tayo para marami tayong agi. So, no condemnation yan, di ba? Next is witnesses. No? Yan yung next topic natin is about witnesses. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Acts 1.8 pa rin. Hmm. Ah, yung kanina, Romans 8.1. Ngayon, Acts 1.8. So, he could have sent a host of angels to proclaim salvation from the highest mountains. He could have written his saving messages across messages across the sky with the clouds. He could have sent fire or shouted out the good news with thunder from heaven. But these are not God's way. His plan is for people like you to be witnesses 
to his love quietly like a pebble thrown into a pan his people are to spread the news of his saving grace as we are obedient to share his message the circle grows and grows we must understand that god doesn't use us because we're his only option hindi lang tayo yung option niya he offers us a tremendous privilege when he invites us to be his witnesses nor does god intend for us to share the gospel on our own strength he enables us enables us through his holy spirit to have a part in his divine purpose of drawing people to himself his spirit prompts us to spread the good news his spirit fills us with power so we see amazing things happen when we obey his prompting do you sense god's holy spirit leading you to be an ambassador for christ Perhaps he is prompting you to tell your own salvation story to a friend who is searching. It could be his leading you to pack your bags and go on a mission trip. Maybe God is calling you to prepare for a full-time career in the ministry. Be sensitive to the ways the Spirit of God leads you and trust that he will empower you to obey his leading iyon so bakit ako nandito ngayon guys because i am a witness no we are a witness witness means syempre being a witness ikaw yung naka-experience ng isang bagay na ganyan so kaya i-witness mo sa iba i-share mo sa iba ayan kung ano talaga kung gaano kabuti yung ating panginoon Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Yun. Diba? Mabuti ang ating Panginoon at tingnan muna natin ang ating niluluto. Baka napagod na. Ayan guys. Huh? Oops. Lutong-luto na ito. Sure ako. Luto na gini. Patayin na natin ito. Tapos na yun. Oh, ayan. Tingnan nyo. Ayan. Ayan. Sarap diba? Ganyan ang itlog may okra na sardinas ayan ayan diba sarap ayan ganyan lang ayan mix in line please ayan guys ah. siyempre nalutok na lalagay na natin sa lalagyan ah, sarap sarap hmm Diba? Diba kay kaya sa atin ang Pasko? Ano na ito? Ano na na na? Ayan guys, kain na! Siyempre! Ayan, but before that, siyempre! Hindi natin kakalimutan na magpasa ng word of God for you today. Ayan. From the experience. Uh, it is a 365 daily devotional book by Day by Day with God by Henry and Richard Blackaby. So, ito na. That's it. Ayan. Ayan, ayan, ayan. So, nako. Tapos na tayo sa witness ngayon. Lipat tayo sa kabila. Ah, separation. Ayan, separation. Let's talk about separation. Isaiah 59, 1 to 2. Surely the arm of the Lord is not too short to save, nor his ear too dull to hear. But your iniquities have separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. He will not hear. So you pray, no answer. You pray again, silence. 
You pray harder. You pray longer. Nothing. Doesn't God love you? Of course, He does. When it seems as though God is far away, remember first of all that He loves you. That will, that will never change. Second, understand that He wants what is best for you. So His answer may be no, or it may be yes, but not now. The silence may also indicate that you drifted away from God and that the relationship needs to be restored before you will hear from Him again. Since the time of Adam and Eve, sin has separated us from God. When we cling to sin and refuse to seek God's forgiveness, God, uh, from God, God will not listen to our prayers. God is pure. He is holy. He will not overlook blatant disobedience and continue as if nothing has happened. Isaiah chapter 3, 13 to 16. God seeks a repentant heart before he will listen to our requests in prayer. Always be sensitive to the condition of your heart. If your prayers seem to go unheard, that's your cue to examine your life. Is there a sinful attitude or behavior that you've known was wrong, yet you refused to let it go? If there is, repent of it immediately. Confess it to God. Don't expect God to pour out His blessings as long as you cling to your sin. Thank God for His silence because it highlighted your need to seek His forgiveness. Get rid of the sin and enjoy your relationship with God once again. Ayun. Diba? Separation. Some, some, minsan, uh, nahihirapan yung Panginoon na uh, makikinig sa mga, mga prayer natin. It's because of separation. Because of uh, bridge, gap. Mayroong gap. No? Anong, ano ang nagiging gap? Yung kasalanan. So, minsan, uh, pag magdasal tayo, example, uh, ito, 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 try natin. Example ito. Example natin ito. Siyempre, ito yung ano, way papunta sa, dito ka, doon ng Panginoon. So, mayroong naka, nakasagabal, may nakasagabal na kasalanan. Pakutukin naman natin. Ayan, may nakasaba sa gabal na kasalanan. Kasalanan ko ba? Ayan, di ba? Napaawit tuloy si Jones Vlogs. Ayan. So, mayroong nakasagabal na kasalanan. No? Malapit na sana. Example, ayan, prayer mo. Ito yung daan. Dito siya. So, ano ang gagawin? Kailangan mo i-confess yung kasalanan. Confess your sin immediately to God. So that your sin will be forgiven. So yun. So the, once na nakonfess mo na yung kasalanan, tuloy-tuloy na yun in prayer mo. So yun lang kapatid. So I hope na may natutunan kayo about separation. Yan. Separation and yan. Yan, separation. So yun lang and kain na tayo. But before that, magpray muna tayo. Let's pray for this food. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this food. Bless this, bless this person na nag-offer uh, nito and nag-share nito. Thank you, Father God, and trust it all to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So yun, guys, kung first time yung napanood ang video nito, don't forget to hit the like, click the notification bell para updated kayo sa next video natin. And that's all and have a blessed day.